welcome Sarah. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Everybody, this is Sarah from the Fab Fempreneurs, a sassy business coach. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, thank you, Shannon. I'm excited to be on the show. I know that you are a little bit sassy, and I know that you have this amazing group called the Fab Fempreneurs. So yes. you coach women, right? Yes. So I coach women entrepreneurs, coach, support, guide, inspire uh, women entrepreneurs who are, you know, either newer in their business and really, you know, looking to get that momentum going and they're, they're really busy and probably scattering their efforts to a certain extent. And um, they're, they're looking and going, wow, I'm really busy doing all these things, but I'm not getting the results that I want. So, you know, I'm getting really frustrated. What do I do? And so that's very common. And then I also work with uh, women entrepreneurs who are a little bit more established in their business who are either uh, looking to fill those gaps and strengthen their foundation and build a solid foundation for their business they can build on, um, or they've already done that and are really looking to upgrade and really take things to that next level where, you know, these women are, they're driven, they're, they're ready to play, play with other uh, passionate, uh, driven women like themselves who not only are looking to grow their business, but really make a bigger difference and um, they're looking to create more leverage in their business too. So basically two, two categories, if you will, of women entrepreneurs, I primarily support in fab entrepreneurs uh, through, through coaching as well as a few other means of support like our Upgrade Mastermind and the online Sweet Spot Membership Club. Ooh, sweet spot. I love that. Yep. Yep. So yeah. you help a lot with structure. You provide um, a firm foundation for people to grow from. Can you talk a little bit about the mindset part of that and what it takes to be in the right mind to be able to grow from that firm foundation? Yes. Okay. So if you've, if you've already developed a solid foundation in your business, and what I mean by that is not just, you know, getting your business registered and, you know, the basic startup steps. I mean, you've already done that. You've, um, if you have a solid foundation, you have the, the core pieces in your business in place that enable you to pretty effectively and efficiently find clients, serve them, and um, keep your business running from like an admin operations perspective, right? And you have a plan in place that you're following. So those are just a few things that would indicate that you have a solid foundation, for example. To build on that and take it to that next level from a mindset perspective, I really believe strongly that <clears throat> first and foremost, you wanna have clarity on what that, I call it your upgrade level, looks like. So that means, you know, what, it's not just about a desire to uh, make a bigger difference and make more money and reach more people in less time, so to speak, but it needs to be clear on how you want to do that and what is the impact that you wanna make. And so when you're clear on that, then the other piece that's probably I mean, it's just as important with that is once you're clear, then you want to make sure that your mindset matches your mission. And so that means as you are looking to grow and expand and, and um, reach your upgrade level in your business, you have to, your mindset has to rise to meet that. So um, I love that quote by Leonardo DiCaprio. He says, and I have it written down because I don't have it memorized, but I love it. I love it every time that I hear it. Um, he says, every next level of your life will demand a different you. And that has been so true in my own life and my business. But I think that's where a lot of women get stuck in their business. They have this maybe new big vision that they're feeling really good about, and maybe even starting to see some ways that they can start to um, go in that direction and, and take some steps in that direction. But it's easy to get stuck if you don't look to see how you need to expand your capacity both personally and in your business in order to rise to meet that uh, next level. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And I'm so glad that you brought up that quote because that's one that I read and live by all the time. It's so true. Every yeah. level presents new opportunities for personal growth 
really what it comes down to, and this is this is a sort of a quick framework for your listeners. Um, if you if you want to go after something and you want more clarity around what that is, and you want it to be balanced and, and well well defined and also meaningful, you want to include. Uh, what not only what uh, you're going to do, right? So, but there's so there's, there's three things. Um, you want to include what what are you accomplishing? So it's so it's three things: A, C, E. What are you accomplishing? What are you contributing? And then what are you experiencing in and through your business, or in and through the project, or your job, or this area of your life, or in general? Um, you can have very meaningful responses to those questions in any of those areas. And it will really provide you with a, a, a strong, really inspired place to move from every day. Wow, that's incredible. And that's something that anybody can start doing right now, even as they're listening to this. Yes. Start jotting down their ACE. Yep, ACE. ACE, I love it. You've got a lot of acronyms that you play with. You know, I'm a nerd when it comes to acronyms. Um, yeah, so it's a quick go-to if you're ever feeling, you know, if somebody, if your listeners are ever feeling kind of like, meh, in their life or their, their work or their business, or just even as part of their regular annual planning process, just really looking at, hey, this year, what do I want to accomplish? And that's common, but don't stop there. That's where people stop. What do I want to contribute and what do I want to experience? Because this life isn't just meant to be done, it's meant to be experienced too. So we get that choice, you know, if there's something that we want to experience, especially, you know, and this is, this is a, you know, ACE is part of the, the process that I use with my clients to develop their vision for success in their business, which is the very first thing that I have them do in our coaching together. And so that is very foundational for developing goals that are not just cool and clear and specific, but also very meaningful. So that way, when you look back at those goals and review those goals, um, you, you, know, you know why you set them. And when it gets hard, you're not like, oh, who cares about it? You know why you set the goals. So you're like, hey, I really want to accomplish, contribute, and experience these things. And that goal is going to help me to do that. You know, I really love that. And I think it's a, it's a whole package, you know, especially as women, we want to accomplish, but we also have an inner need to contribute. It's part of that, you know, woman's instinct and then to experience it. So you're taking it from your head into your heart and really pulling all those pieces together. Absolutely. And it just provides a, a way more balanced basically, you know, not just vision, but ultimately plan for whatever it is that you're looking at, whether again, it's your life or your, or your business. I really like that. Thank you so much. That is a huge tip. Thank you. You're I'm awesome. glad. Yeah. So can you tell us about a time when you were feeling <clears throat> discouraged and what that was like for you and what you did to bring yourself back up to that elevated perspective? Sure. And, and there's been plenty of times that I've had the opportunity to experience that and also practice how to move through that. Okay. Across all of the challenges that I've experienced in my life and my business, the common thing, you know, beyond certain practices or strategies, I would say is how I'm looking at the challenge. So I, I have found that looking at challenges as an opportunity for growth is what helps me to not be totally held back by them. So that sounds great, but in reality, it's a challenge to even do that. Even though I've been thinking to that to myself and practicing that for years, it's still sometimes not easy depending on what the circumstances are. So, um, but always reminding myself that has uh, allowed me to feel um, much more how do I say this? Less scared of challenge, less scared of, and less fearful of change and more, it kind of neutralizes it. So that way it feels less like this huge scary monster and more like, okay, this is a challenge and I'm going to be able to move through this and it's temporary. But the reality is sometimes it sucks. Sometimes it's hard. So as an entrepreneur, you know, I can have a great plan and have great clients, which I do, 
And, but there's things that might happen that are out of my control. You know, there's, a, you know, this happened in 2016, uh, summer of 2016, in a five week period, I lost 75% of my monthly revenue. Ouch. Ouch is right. And yes, I was freaking out. It was scary because that's, that's a huge drop in a very short period of time. And, you know, unless you have a huge pile of capital or money sitting around for that potential situation, you know, it's, it's extra challenging because then you're, you're really having to get smart real quick and start taking action to, to figure out what, what adjustments need to be made and that sort of thing. But even whether you have a pile of money sitting there or not, when that happens, it's still uh, unsettling and it's still unnerving and it really did present uh, in 2016 an opportunity for me to look at hey you know what was my part in that and you know what what did I do or not do that contributed to that those circumstances kind of that perfect storm scenario happening and so one of the things that I saw when I was honest with myself is I had turned down the marketing faucet too low and I got a little too comfortable with my connections, my, my current arrangements and cash flow projections. I realized looking back that I stopped doing networking and I mean, I was still networking, but very, very, very little. And I was kind of pulling back from some of those just basic things like staying in touch with certain people and, and, you know, keeping my pipeline full, if you will. And so when that happened, I found myself scrambling. I had no people in my pipeline who were at that hot lead part where they were like ready, you know, almost ready to go. And as a business owner, you have to be mindful of that constantly. And so because I wasn't, I was in that situation where um, it took a long time for me to rebuild that pipeline and rebuild the, the revenue loss. So thankfully I did. It was, um, Last year, it took several months into last year to get that back, and it was scary. And there were days, um, especially during that summer in 2016, when that was happening, along with, at the same time, losing a long-term friendship with somebody, surprising to me. That was, it was a very, very difficult, challenging time. And I'm sharing this because we all go through different types of challenges and seasons where it is more challenging and there there is some difficult stuff that that happens in life that happens in business and ultimately what helped me throughout that time was uh, was a few things but one of them was you know what i mentioned at the beginning of this when you asked that question and that was to see see this challenge as an opportunity for growth <clears throat> So everything that I was going through in 2016 in the summer, I started looking at proactively, how can I move forward through this? Because that's really what it's about. You know, I don't think challenges come into our lives to, to stop everything, to, to ruin everything, to, to, to prevent you from moving forward and growing. I think it's the opposite. And, but it, sometimes it can be really painful or scary like it was for me in 2016. And um, having that perspective really supported me along with, along with really trusting the process of moving forward because it's super easy. I'm super impatient when I'm doing things I know I need to be doing and the results aren't coming. I'm like, let's go, let's go. Come on, how long is this gonna take? Come on. And I had to trust that that as I was walking what felt like in the dark some days, um, that as long as I was just taking even one tiny step forward, which could have been super simple in a day, I knew that I was going to move through it. And here's what's really cool that I got out of that. And I'm sharing this because it's amazing the transformation that can happen for all of us when we choose to see the challenges this in these ways is the first week of September, so after that really difficult summer, the first week of September, I realized kind of some, a way to kind of understand and explain what I was going through to myself, because that whole summer, I only had one word to, to, to understand it, other than the lesson learned about the marketing, because it was way more than that, was elevate. 
So the only word that I had to navigate and understand what I was going through that summer was elevate. I knew that I was being called to elevate in every area of my life and my business. And um, so that was amazing, but it was very little to go on. <laughs> and so <clears throat> at, at that first week of September, it finally hit me that I was going through a process of upgrading, that I was going through the process of the upgrade and I needed to embrace it and, and stop questioning and keep moving forward like I was. But that really was empowering to see it that, that way and to really get it. And so that gave me the emotional, mental, mental, spiritual, physical strength to keep moving forward. Wow, I love that you picked the word elevate I, I love how similar our our strategies and and beliefs are within all of that because people come to me and they tell me, you know, I'm just asking to have more in my business, to have more in my life, and then everything falls apart. And so I try to shift the mindset from instead of why is this happening to me, mm -hmm. why is this happening for me? I love that. And it's just what you said. All these things are falling apart so that you can elevate to that next level so that you can have everything that you've been asking for. And if you mm -hmm. just keep asking yourself, where's the opportunity in this, you're going yeah. to come out on the other side. Yes, yes, and I, and I love that. And having those tools is so powerful. And also when we have those bad days or hard days and, or moments, it's important that we don't feel guilty about it or feel bad about it, but that we just are authentic and real with ourselves like, hey, okay, I'm giving this day up because I, you know, I am tired. I am whatever, you know, with everything you're going through and maybe it's just a difficult day and that's okay. I think a lot of people beat themselves up and throughout the process during a challenge and that just makes it worse and that just makes it harder. And so I just, that's just another thing that I want to share because I think it's so easy, especially for women to, to do that. And do you find working with women that intuition plays a big part in business? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I think we um, oftentimes can get either too in our head, meaning, you know, just kind of thinking logistically, what do I need to do? What's next? Or, or just totally purely from heart where you're just kind of, oh, what am I inspired to do today? And, you know, both of those are, are great, but only focusing on one can get you in trouble and really produce some unbalanced results in your business. So having both is really important, combining head and heart. But along with that, beyond those things, and, but also supporting those things is really tapping into what you, what you really know. And sometimes you can't explain, and, I, and that's what I believe is our intuition is really trusting that we know, trusting that we already know. And it's just being able to listen to that and put ourselves in a space to be able to hear. And sometimes when we're not practiced at doing that, we need to bounce those things off other people that know us well to help validate that. So that's really helpful. Something that I've done if I'm not quite sure if, okay, yeah. so you brought up a lot of really good points. One is that when we're having a good day, or sorry, a bad day, we need to just know that it's a bad day and we're going to move through it. And then the other one is we really need to stay balanced in our head and heart. But it's not easy to do that alone. And I know mm -hmm. that you have a mastermind program. Can you talk a little bit about how your program might help fill that need of not having to go through it alone? My Upgrade Mastermind is specifically designed for driven women entrepreneurs who are, you know, maybe they've established quite a few things in their business. They've been in business for a handful of years and they have really uh, established a way for them to work with people. They have a pretty pretty consistent way of, of getting clients. So they're not necessarily scrambling to get constantly that next client they but they're they're really looking to create a little bit more leverage so they're starting to look towards things like how can I work with more people at once for example whether that's through workshops groups virtual op opportunities or other creative things and uh, they're also wanting to make a bigger difference so they're 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 wanting to continue to grow their business and reach their next level revenue goal 
but they're also thinking, how can I make a bigger difference? You know, I, I'm, I love working with my clients and making the difference that I'm making with them and serving them through my, my business, but how can I make a bigger impact, not only on them, but maybe the, the community or my industry or with my connections? or my, you know, the world, whatever. And so, um, the, so that's, that's really how, why I designed Upgrade Mastermind. And so the, the focus of Upgrade Mastermind is really to support those women they just described to really embrace their upgrade, whatever that is for them, and then understand what's required to be able to move through their upgrade process, as well as to, um, for those who already might be in it, to be able to continue to do that and be around other women who are doing it too and who are going for it so that they feel supported, they stay inspired, and also they stay accountable and, um, and are, are also challenged to keep going forward and to, to not stay small because it's easy to do that. It's very tempting to stay small because it's easier, it's more comfortable. You're gonna get, get less rejection. You're gonna get less criticism. Um, but these women are compelled. They wanna go for it and they wanna shine. They wanna, they, they wanna be around women that are gonna support them to do that. So the way that I've structured it is we meet for a full day quarterly mastermind retreat every quarter we have a full day we all get together and um, I facilitate a really productive powerful day where you can come away from doing your business and time and space to really get that clarity on where things are at at that particular quarter and what's working what's not where you want it to be what are your focus areas going to be for the next quarter and then also a very powerful part of that day is being able to mastermind on a specific idea or challenge. And so to have a dedicated group of people totally huddling with you to, to really get clarity and clear action steps for how to move that idea forward or uh, bust through that challenge. But, uh, so that's quarterly. And some I mix some other fun stuff in there. I try to uh, share a strategy from a coaching perspective while they're there, as well as um, some creativity exercises to get the juices flowing, which is always fun. So, so that's the, the core are those quarterly retreats. And then the other piece that's really powerful that creates that community and connection and accountability and uh, continuing to challenge each other is with our monthly peer mastermind group. And so that's where a group of three or four women who I have matched based upon their industry, their kind of dynamic, their personalities, um, they meet monthly for a two hour meeting and they have a, a you know, a, a flow to, to the meeting that they, that I provided them. But the, the ultimate focus of that is to really know that they're going to be meeting each other every month, reporting in on their progress and supporting each other with, with, whatever they need um, with their goals, their challenges, their ideas. That sounds so valuable. So valuable. What an amazing service that you are providing. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's really amazing. And um, as I moved forward with creating, basically relaunching my mastermind group that I had been doing for years, relaunching it last fall um, and calling it Upgrade Mastermind and designed it in this way, it, it allowed me to start talking with more women and more women in the upgrade process. And so, you know, when we do put ourselves out there like that, it really does start to bring in new people, new opportunities that really align with that. Wow, that's so amazing. So are most of your clients then local to you or do you have digital programs available for somebody who lives out of the area? I work with people internationally, you know, with Zoom now, you can, you can have a meeting with anybody, anywhere, anytime. So I, I do provide private coaching locally and virtually. And the Upgrade Mastermind is local. It is in person. Um, but I have had a couple of clients who are going to be transitioning, um, who are out of state, who are going to be flying in every quarter to attend the quarterly retreats. And um, then be zooming in virtually to their peer groups every month. So I try to provide those flexible options to provide more rich uh, groups and experiences so that people can access the support that they really want and need 
So, so yeah. And then the Sweet Spot Membership Club that I mentioned earlier, that's online. So anybody, you know, internationally can access that. And I developed that in response to talking with so many women entrepreneurs who maybe just were needing accessible support, coaching support and resources to grow their business that would be really simple and straightforward, but very powerful at the same time. And so I developed that so that they can go in, log in and access a variety of resources across a lot of topics like time management, goal setting and planning, leadership, and building capacity, including delegation and things like that, systems. And so they can go in and use a resource, whether it's a how-to guide or a webinar, and grab a resource that's dealing with a topic that maybe that they're struggling with at that particular time, and they can go get help with that. So it's an option that's accessible from you know ease of access and you know anytime, anywhere sort of thing, but also financially. I wanted to offer something that was feasible for, for people who may be um, newer in their business and on a shoestring budget and looking to get that support. Uh, but also for women entrepreneurs of all stages who really want to get connected and have access to that support and connect in our private community on Facebook as well. So thanks for asking about that. There's a lot of, you know, throughout the years, as you grow your business, you develop, you know, you start to develop more levels of support and ways to help people. And so those are a few of the things that uh, Fab Entrepreneurs provides. Sarah, I just loved everything that you talked about. It sounds like everything you offer has been really well thought out. It really sounds like a complete package and a very valuable offering for so many women in business who are mm -hmm. looking to really elevate their personal and professional life. Thank Ooh, you. Whoop. You're welcome. This has been fun. I love sharing. I love sharing so much. And um, I, I trust that your listeners will be able to take at least one nugget from this that they can apply and implement right away. And that's my challenge to them is to take one thing that we talked about today and just and implement it right away, whatever is resonating most with you, uh, because that's how we create more of what we want in our life and business. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we're dropping all the links down below. If you'd like to connect with Sarah, please find her on one of her social media outlets. And if you'd like to connect with me, I'd love to chat too. And to everybody, have a fabulous day.